Hello everyone, I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. In today's short video, let me discuss the important auscultatory findings in patients with the mitral stenosis. So in the auscultation of mitral stenosis, first you need to know how will be the first start sound. The first start sound, you will have loud S1. But for suppose, if the mitral stenosis, if it is due to calcification of the mitral valve, that is in calcified mitral stenosis, you will have soft S1. And in patients with mitral stenosis, atrial fibrillation is one of the very important complications. So if MS is associated with atrial fibrillation, then the individual will have variable S1. So that is about the abnormalities of the first heart sound. And if you see the abnormalities of the second heart sound, that is S2, you will have loud P2. And why is that you will have loud P2? That is because of the development of pulmonary hypertension. So this is about your second heart sound. Then what about the diastolic abnormalities? So within the diastole of patients with mitral stenosis, there are three additional sounds. One is the opening snap. The opening snap, it is due to forcible opening of stenosed mitral valve. And there will be mid-diastolic murmur. And finally, pre-systolic accentuation. Pre-systolic accentuation is due to strong left atrial contraction against the stenosed mitral valve. So these are the very important auscultatory findings in patients with mitral stenosis.